are we? We brought you to the 10th floor of this building today to begin to explore who are we? We are 35,000 students. As you look out the windows, we are from the north, we are from the south, we are from the east, we are from the west. We are diverse. We are businesses. We are industry. We are nonprofit. We are for profit. We are philanthropists. We are engaged parents. We're a community. We're all on a journey. And this morning, we are Spring Branch ISD. And we invite you to our journey. We are T24. We're goal oriented. We've said to ourselves that the children of Spring Branch ISD deserve an opportunity, not just to get to but to experience success in the military, a technical two- or four-year institution. We're on a journey. We have beliefs. We believe in every child. We believe in the ability of every single one, all 35,000 students, to experience greatness each and every day. We are collective greatness. We know that we do not do this work by ourselves. We know that it takes the people and individuals that we see as we look out these windows today, it takes all of us coming together as one to be, to be great, collective greatness. We believe in collaborative spirit. We believe in celebrating opportunities such as today to come together and enjoy each other, learn from each other, and grow with each other. We celebrate opportunities to engage in partnerships and relationships. We have limitless curiosity. When you walked in this morning, where was the first place that you went? You went to the windows. Because as human beings, we have limitless curiosity. And we believe as an educational organization that it is our primary responsibility to ensure that our children have opportunities each and every day to experience and explore that limitless curiosity. And we have a moral compass. We believe that we owe a high quality education to every single child that enters our doors. And our moral compass leads us to that true north each and every day. We are Spring Branch ISD, and we're on a journey. We began our journey last year as we looked and we listened and we learned about this great place in which we live. We recognized the incredible talents, we recognized the incredible individuals, we recognized the incredible opportunity that we have to ensure that every kid every day has a great experience. But we recognized as an organization that we can do better for the children that we serve. A learning organization is always about growing and learning and being better tomorrow from what we were today. And so we said to ourselves, if we want to be better for the children that we serve, then we have to think differently about ourselves. Debbing says it probably better than anybody. You as an organization are perfectly designed to achieve the results that you're achieving. And last year we said to ourselves that we want to be better. And if we're going to be better, then we as an organization, Spring Branch ISD, has to be different. We're on a journey in Spring Branch ISD. So we brought a large group of people together last year. And we went out and listened. In fact, we listened to all kinds of people in our system. We listened to our students, our teachers, our administrators. We listened to members of our community members of the faith community, our business community, our philanthropic community, members of our nonprofit community, over 3,000 people we listened to. And then we took all of that information and we brought a group of 90 individuals together and you met some of them this morning, our strategic planning committee, and they went to work last year and created a strategic plan 
that allowed us, that will allow us as an organization not only to begin this journey, but to do really good things for children. And so today we launch the learner's journey. And we thank the incredible amount of people, many of you this morning, that participated in one way or another in getting us to this place. So where are we going? Our strategic plan, as you see, is focused on one goal, and that is T24 success for our students. Our kids not only should have the opportunity to make a choice to attend or to participate, but should be successful as they go through the military, technical, or two or four-year institutions. And if we want that for our children, then as an organization, we've got some work to do to make sure that our kids have that opportunity. And so as we focus on that goal, there are four areas of work that we identified last year that we need to pay a bit of attention to as an organization. First is our foundation. We're in this building today that is unfinished. It's unfinished because it's in its foundational format. A great visionary is going to come in here in a few months and transform this entire floor, this 10th floor of the building, into something incredible for a business in our community. Can't wait to see what they create. And at Spring Branch ISD, we have that opportunity to take this same foundation and create incredible opportunities for the kids that come to us each and every day. Learning ecosystems. We have an opportunity as the system to think differently about the type of learning environment that our children experience each and every day. We have to think differently about that learning environment. Our kids are asking us to think differently. Extraordinary people. We recognize that in Spring Branch ISD, we employ 4,600 employees, and each of those individuals deserves an investment, an investment in them. We should grow them, nurture them, develop them. We recognize as an organization that we've got to pay more attention to the people that serve our children every day. And finally, customized supports. We recognize that we do not do this work alone. It takes the village, it takes Spring Branch for Spring Branch ISD to be successful. As we launch into these and we think about that resilient foundation, we have some bodies of work that are happening today and that will begin to happen this year. First of all, District of Innovation. On April 25th, the Board of Education, one of the first in the state of Texas, decided, you know, if we're going to be better as an organization, then we need to provide opportunities for the schools in our system. We need to gain local control so that we can be the decision makers in our journey. And so on April 25th of 2016, this Board of Trustees voted to become one of the first districts of innovation in the state of Texas. That's part of our resilient foundation, a fundamental piece that will allow us to do really great work for children and really great work for the team as we move forward. Secondly, you'll see reorganization. On July 1st of 2016, this summer, we rolled out a new organization in Spring Branch ISD so that we could become more effective and efficient in the work that we do for children, in the work that we do for our adults, and in the work that we do for this community. Some things that are happening in our schools, professional learning communities. We are bringing our teachers together, our administrators together on a regular basis so that they can have critical conversations about children and then use great information to make really smart choices about children. When great teachers get together and have conversations about our kids, good things happen for our children. And so this year in Spring Branch ISD, we're building healthy professional learning communities in and among our teacher groups and our leaders, and we're going to feed them with really great data, really great information that will allow those teachers to make smart choices for the children that we serve each and every day. Those are foundational, fundamental pieces of the work that we're doing as, we're, as we move forward. Learning ecosystems. This year in Spring Branch ISD, we rolled out virtual labs. Every high school in Spring Branch ISD this year has a fully staffed virtual lab that provides all of our high school students with opportunities to explore coursework in a virtual environment. And we're excited about that opportunity for our kids. They're asking for that opportunity. In fact, at our, very, at our board meeting two weeks ago, I had to go to the board and say, we've had such a demand for this opportunity that we need to expand the opportunity. And we're only two weeks into the school year. So being responsive to the needs of our children. 
tiny innovations. We have some incredible work happening in schools, in pockets of schools around our system. Innovation happening in tiny ways so that we can learn as an organization, grow that innovation, and then seed that innovation throughout the school district. Lots of tiny innovations happening in our schools in Spring Branch ISD that are focused upon the learning environment for our children. And lastly, we rolled out this year a new opportunity, a learning management system, an electronic environment that allows every teacher and every student in Spring Branch ISD to collaborate on the work, to exchange ideas and information with each other. Kids can collaborate with kids, teachers can collaborate with teachers, teachers and students can collaborate with, with each other. We're excited about that new opportunity for the children and the adults in Spring Branch ISD. All of that is an investment in the learning ecosystem. As we listen to our children and understand their learning needs, we have to be responsive to not only the children of 2016, but also the children of 2020 and 2025. And then wow, our people, the extraordinary people of Spring Branch ISD. We're making significant investments in our people. This year we will begin the development of personalized professional learning. No longer will we take a group of 100 teachers and put them in the room and give them on a Friday afternoon a professional development experience. Ask a teacher how many of them love that experience. No, in Spring Branch ISD, it's thinking about the individual needs of not just our teachers, but how do we grow our secretaries? How do we grow our custodians, our cafeteria workers, our principals, our directors, our managers? For as a learning organization, we have a responsibility to 4,600 adults that are part of this journey with us. And so this year, we will begin to create a personalized learning environment for each and every one of our employees so that they can grow and develop and provide a higher quality of service to the students that we all ultimately serve. Opportunity culture. This year we rolled out an opportunity for teachers in Spring Branch ISD who want to spread their wings a little bit. We have teachers in our system that love teaching, great teachers that love teaching, but I would also like to write curriculum, or maybe I would like to mentor a colleague, or maybe I would like to give some model lessons to a teacher down the hall. This year we rolled out an opportunity we call the opportunity culture, building opportunities for teachers to first continue to do great things with kids, but also spread their wings a little bit and share their knowledge and wisdom with colleagues in and among their building. An exciting growth opportunity for teachers in Spring Branch ISD. And then compensation and benefits. No longer can we think about all employees as the same. We have opportunities in Spring Branch ISD to think differently, to think more effectively about the way we compensate and provide benefits to our employees. And so we're gonna begin that work this year, studying our compensation system, studying the way we do benefits, and trying to think radically different about the way that we feed our employees. Not only nurturing them from a professional development perspective, but how do we take care of their basic needs, their compensation and benefits. We have an opportunity to think differently as a district, and we're gonna do that because our employees are saying we need to be thought of in a much more effective way. Extraordinary people, making sure that we're taking care of the adults in our learning organization. And lastly, customized supports. We have a lot of work to do with our kids and a lot of work to do with our adults. And we cannot do this work alone. We've got to align all of our resources, our internal resources and our external resources so that good things can happen for the kids and the adults in our system. So the first thing we point out extra credit. This year we launched for the very first time an opportunity for our employees, all 4,600 of them, to have some extra credit opportunities. A group of local businesses and industries right here in our own community are providing opportunities and incentives to the teachers and employees of Spring Branch ISD in what we call a little bit of extra credit. Here's a benefit for working in Spring Branch ISD. Extra credit for being a Spring Branch ISD employee. We're excited about that opportunity and thank the many businesses and industries that have partnered with us to make that come to fruition. But it gets even bigger than that. Last year is one of my personal revelations as I traveled around this community. I, I was absolutely overwhelmed with the number of individuals, philanthropists, nonprofit, business, industry, just 
people on the street, those are members of our faith community, those folks in Spring Branch that were playing an active role in the lives of our children. Whether it's in the classroom, in the school setting, after hours, on weekends, it's incredible the amount of people and organizations that are actively engaged in growing our children. Truly, the village in Spring Branch is alive and well. This year, we're going to provide an opportunity to bring all of these entities together in what we call a partnership summit. How can we take this great work that we're doing and make it even better? How can we align the work of our entire community on the specific needs of the children that we have? And so we've already begun with an assessment of all of our schools. What are the specific needs of the children and the schools in Spring Branch ISD? The next part of this work will begin to talk with members of our community. What are the specific things that businesses, industries, nonprofits, faith community, what is it that you have to offer? What are the services that might in some way benefit the, the students and the staff of Spring Branch ISD? And then how can we align this incredible community so that we can do even better work for the kids that we serve? Our Partnership Summit opportunity is, an, is really, to me, the first um, opportunity um, that I'm aware of in this country to take an entire village and align it and focus it upon the needs of all kids within a community. We're excited about that opportunity of our partnership summit that will happen next spring. So we do all of this work. We go on this journey. As a learning organization, how, how do we know if we're successful? How do we know that all that we do will, is working for the students that we serve, for the adults that we serve, and for the community in which we live. So you see before you questions that we're, we're asking ourselves today and we'll continue to ask ourselves tomorrow and the next day. First, with our kids. How much progress is every child in our system making? Are they making the type of progress that we want them to make and that they need to make to be successful in life? How academically prepared is every kid to travel along this journey? Those pre-K kids enter us. What are we doing with them at the age of four years old? We have students actually that come to us at the age of three. How are we preparing them for life's journey? How is every child doing beyond the classroom? Yes, we're a learning organization, and when many people here were a school district, we think reading, writing, and arithmetic, English, math, science, social studies. But we recognize that the health of our children beyond just their academic health is critically important to their success in life. So how are our kids doing socially? How are they doing emotionally? How is their mental health? How is, what is their quality of life like? And so we want to make sure that our kids are healthy from a big picture. And so we'll be monitoring the health, the overall health of our children. What about our graduates? How are our kids doing after they graduate? It's one thing to shake their hand and give them a high school diploma, but beyond just that, we want to make sure that our kids are successful in life. Several of you shared with me just this morning the success of your own children. One gentleman I had a conversation with what, in, bragged incessantly about his three children, and I loved how incredibly proud he was of the accomplishments of his children. And he pointed back to Spring Branch ISD and thanked us for the work that we did with his children. Now, that story, fortunately, is not one that I just heard this morning. It is one that has been repeated since July 1st of 2015. We have incredible success stories that have happened in this district year after year after year. How do we ensure as a learning organization that that success continues to happen for every single child that we serve? That's a measure of our success as an organization. And then how do we make sure that we're providing for the needs of our employees, the 4,600 employees that we serve, the students that we serve, and then this community, we're an active part of this community. What role are we playing to ensure the success, the quality of life in this place we call Spring Branch? That's important to us. And lastly, are we developing a sustainable talent model in our organization? A shocking statistic. Today in the state of Texas, we are 33,000 teachers short of the number that we need to teach our children. Next year, the state of Texas will be 40,000 teachers short of the number that we need to teach our children. As a learning organization, how do we ensure that we have a sustainable talent model, not only of teachers in our classroom, but people at every level, today, 
and tomorrow. That's important for us, and it's important for our children. So today we invite you to travel on this journey with us, and we ask you to do some things. First, we ask that you be proud. First, be proud of the incredible place that we live. When you look out of these windows today, don't take it for granted. This is a special place. You can feel it, you can see it, you can sense it. Be proud of Spring Branch. Be proud of your school district. Many successes have come from Spring Branch ISD. Be proud of those success stories, whether they are personal to you or folks that you know. But be proud of your school district because we recognize that we can be better. Be proud of your school district because one of our core values is every child. Be proud of your school district because we believe we have a responsibility for every single child that enters our school every single day. Be proud of that fact. Be brave. Be brave with us. We're on a journey. And this place that we're in today, while it's beautiful, it can be scary. It's a bit unfinished. The walls are a bit barren. The floor has a lot of work. And it takes brave people to do really good work in places like this. And we do not do this work alone. So we ask that you be brave with us. As we travel along this journey, we need you to be brave. And lastly, let's be a learner with us. We are on the learner's journey. Why? Because that's us. Whether superintendent or trustee or student or parent or business leader, we're always learning. And we as an organization will trip and we'll fall, but I can promise you that we'll get back up, we'll dust ourselves off, and we'll be even better because of that. Part of the learning process is trial and error, but it's also trial and success. And that's where we're heading. So today we ask you to join us along this journey. What can you do? Well, maybe mentor a student. We have a lot of that in Spring Branch ISD. It's important. All of our children need people in their lives that are mentors. But how about mentoring a teacher? Or maybe a principal? Or maybe a secretary? Or a custodian? Many of the adults in our school district need mentors as well. People that can help us grow in our own knowledge and wisdom. Or provide a teacher appreciation opportunity, or maybe better yet, become an extra credit partner so that that work that you, that partnership that you have with us benefits all employees in Spring Branch ISD. Or maybe support an academic program that exists, or better yet, support an opportunity to help us innovate and create a new academic program for students. Be a part of the innovation team happening in Spring Branch ISD. Or guide a student to higher education. Or better yet, how about pick up a high school graduate and travel with them along their college experience. And finally, invest. Join the journey with us. And think about an investment in our system, an investment in the journey. Today we're incredibly excited to announce the first of what we hope will be many investments that are happening in Spring Branch ISD. Today I'm very proud to announce that the Houston Endowment has provided an opportunity for Spring Branch ISD to travel at an accelerated rate along the learner's journey. Wendy Clunan joins us this morning from the Houston Endowment. And we've just received word that the Houston Endowment will provide a $450,000 investment into the learner's journey to help us 
do this work. And so we're excited about that investment. Last night at our school board, we recognized in a public way the Spring Branch Education Foundation. The Spring Branch Education Foundation presented a check to Spring Branch ISD for CC, I do believe it was a little over a million dollars last night. And so again, the Spring Branch Education Foundation <laughs> invests in the work of Spring Branch ISD. We do this work together, and so we thank the Houston Endowment for believing in and for being brave and being bold, being a learner with us, being willing to take risks with us. We thank the foundation, the Spring Branch Education Foundation, for being brave, for partnering with us, for picking us up when we fall down, but for saying this is the right kind of work to do for children in Spring Branch ISD. Children. Makes me think. I wonder what will happen with the 35,000 students in Spring Branch ISD when we as a village when we as Spring Branch come together and do all the things that we've talked about this morning, when we think differently about learning, when we think differently about teaching, when we think differently about the type of supports we provide for our children, what will their response be? <laughs> Mike Morath is the Commissioner of Education in the state of Texas. And Mike read our strategic plan and he commented to me, he said, Scott, if anybody can get this right for children, it is Spring Branch ISD. And so we have the support of our state commissioner who said, thumbs up, let's make it happen. So this morning as you leave, I ask that you look out the windows one more time and know that under those trees and behind those buildings, there are 35,000 Imanis. And they're all asking, for us to do really good work for them. And then what will happen when we do really good work for kids? They'll rise up. Amani's answer to the question. That's what happens when we believe in children, when we have high expectations for children, and when we do really good work for kids. We do not do this work alone. And so this morning our ask is simple. Be a part of the journey with us. Thanks for being here this morning. Enjoy the view. Have a great rest of the day.